All right, let's talk about gear. Um, I used to be a really big gearhead. Uh, I guess I still am. I, I, I like buying the nice stuff, but now I'm more of a gearhead with like smartphones. Like I'm obsessed with, you know, smartphone cameras because I'm seeing this amazing technology and it's just my favorite. I mean, even right now, I'm shooting with an iPhone 11. You know, I can't even show you because I'm using it, you know, to produce these videos. Um, you know, and I got this thing in my hand literally as a prop, but I wanted to talk about gear as it relates to having a professional photography career and what you really need and what you don't need. Um, let's talk about cameras. You know, this is a DSLR camera. Um, nowadays, um, if you're just starting out, I always say start with your phone because there's so many advantages to shooting with your phone. And now the, the phones, especially like one of the newest ones, like the iPhone 11 or the 12 or the new Samsung um, S25, like those things are amazing. I mean, they, they're they better, pound for pound, they're better than this. And there's advantages to using your phone because you have it with you at all times. Also, you've got access to all these apps, software like FireVibe, um, and you can publish instantly, you can share instantly, you can get the photos to your editor instantly, and, like, and that just makes you a better photographer. These things have a lot of limitations, you know. Um, for instance, if you start using, if you start shooting with your phone as a professional, you don't have to have a computer, technically. Like, it's crazy. Like, you know, these things are dependent on you having a computer, you know, because you gotta get, you gotta pop the card out, you know, and, and, and put the files into a computer just to send them somewhere or just to edit them. Um, and that's a lot, a lot of what our process teaches is, is like showing you how to simplify like the more simple you get your equipment, the more jobs you can do and the easier it is and the faster you can do them. And that, that allows you to make a lot more money. Like I started making 10 times what I used to make when I switched to using my phone, which is it's kind of a really ironic thing that getting rid of this type of stuff is what allowed me to make more money, made me more successful as a photographer. Now, yeah, every now and then when I'm using my phone, you know, I have some ways like, oh, you're using a phone, you know? And it's like, yeah, but I'm really confident in it, you know, and um, it's not, it really, it, it's never been about the camera. You know, this, this obsession over these, it's really just a, it's a symbol. You know, it's like something about the shape of it that people think professional, but it's not, this doesn't make you a professional. Um, but, you know, a lot of people, there, there is an advantage, especially when you're starting out, there, there's an advantage to looking the part. I mean, I, I do understand that, that, you know, fake it till you make it. Um, so, you know, get yourself a DSLR if you, you want to. But taking courses like ours, like if, if you have the choice between, you know, $1,500 for one of these and $1,500 in our course, the course is more weight thousand times more valuable because our course will teach you actually how to make money you know buying one of these doesn't help you make any money in fact if you don't know how to use one of these like if you don't know how to use all these buttons you're really not anywhere you know there's not some magic in here you know you, you could snap a photo with this snap a photo with my iPhone this isn't necessarily gonna look better uh, in fact I think the phones, you know, because the, the phones use artificial intelligence, you know, so I, I think the imagery is better. You know, might not be quite the, the resolution, you know, but who cares? I mean, I think this is like a 28 megapixel, you know, computer screens, you know, 4K, 12, mix, 12 megapixel is 4K, 4,000 by 3,000 pixels, you know, so you don't need to go higher than 12 megapixels. Don't, don't get obsessed. I think that's that's what some people get, they get obsessed with the specifications and like megapixels, total BS, you know, there's, that's just a marketing ploy. Even video resolution, like 4K, you know, there's not really much use for 4K. You know, when, when you put it, like you're watching this video now, it's probably in 720, you know, like, or 1080. I mean, 4K, you can't stream 4K. It's, t it's, 
it's, it's just a way for them to sell cameras. Most people don't know that. Um, you know, so the only thing that really matters is, um, you know, the product you're delivering. Um, other pieces of gear that are useful, the, the, the only, the most valuable piece of gear, in my opinion, is, is, is a drone. Uh, you know, a drone camera, because that, that gives you so many more possibilities that, you know, you can't do with your phone. Um, so, I do recommend buying a drone because, you know, that that will make you a lot of money if you have the capability to do aerial photography. Um, also, there's um, a, tri a good tripod. You need to invest in one of those. Um, it will come in handy a lot of times. Um, if you are into, like, flash photography, there's all kinds of stuff like that, but I... Not a big fan of that because it can it can all be simulated with proper editing, you know. And and I teach I'm more of a software driven photographer. I I teach you know a more natural, fluid, natural light type of photography. And then if you need to fix it, you can do that on the editing side. You can simulate flash lighting. But some people like to use flash lighting because they think it looks better, and nothing wrong with that. I think it adds more bulk to your workflow can complicate things but um, um, the other thing there's all kinds of gizmos like gim like gimbals and stuff you know vi for video and once again I, I think they just end up complicating things um, the phones for example now now they have onboard what is it called OIS onboard image stabilization you know so the sensor is actually stabilized, you know, so I see that with the iPhone 11, I mean, I, I can walk, walk with my camera shooting video and it's just perfectly smooth with no gimbal. And that's more natural, you know, I mean, it's, it's more, you can feel it when you're, you're handheld videoing something. And uh, so those gimbals, I, I think it just, you know, it's something to sell photographers. I mean, there, there's a whole industry around just selling crap. Um, you know, if you like it and it, yeah, you know, knock yourself out. But our course, our training is not about gear. I, I don't dwell on it because that's your journey. Same thing with technique, how you shoot. I mean, if you come into our program, if you have questions about that, you know, we'll we'll give you suggestions. But also, God, there's so many videos on YouTube. You know, I don't I don't want to teach a class about you know how to do HDR photography or, you know, or how to use your camera. Cause I mean, it's, there's too many other ones like this. We're, we're, our course is about teaching you how to become a professional photographer, like how to make money, how to make a career out of it, how to get hired, you know, how to have the business run smooth, you know, um, how to scale, how to make more and more money and how to, um, have residual income, you know, month in, month out. Um, so yeah, that's it for gear. Um, less is more. I went from having over a hundred thousand dollars in camera gear to basically using my phone. I mean, I'm producing these with a phone right now. You know, I've got some video lighting, uh, and then you know I got a microphone. So it's like, and because I've got this simple setup. It allows me to do more, way more, faster, and shockingly, the quality kind of improved. You know, um, I don't know. There's something magical about changed my life. Like when I started using the camera that I had with me, you know, I had a lot of experience. I was so good and I was so confident that I wasn't afraid, you know, to use camera in my pocket. You know, but then after doing that, I realized like, wow, these cameras they're putting in smartphones are as good or better and they just, they just have so many more advantages you know having it with you at all times and it's connected to the internet you know you can send it to the editors right away you can publish it right away you know it, you have access to software you know like app developers like myself you know we, we can write software you know Canon and Nikon they don't let us write programs for this so you, you have to know it's like a mainframe you, you have to know what all these buttons do you know, and that's a barrier of entry. There's no barrier of entry with a phone, and you've got, you've already got it. You already own it. You know, so that's best 
There's an old saying, best camera in the world is the one you got with you. Use the camera you got with you. We can get you making six figures with the camera in your pocket. I do it all the time for people. Love it. And I, I love people who are willing to learn to shoot with their phone. You know, because, you know, that's, that's the best one. Uh, all right. Uh, if you want more info, um, join our program and we will um, help you get set up shooting with your phone. Or if you want to go this route, we can we can get you all. We can help you get all the gear you need, and um, and you can totally look the part. All right. See you out there.